So far we've dealt with the magnetic flux changing due to the magnetic field increasing or decreasing. But how does the area of a loop change? Well look at the case below. You have a number of loops of wire and you have a mechanical force, see the little green arrows there, somebody's hands is acting on the wire loop. What happens here is as you pull the wires apart the flux through the coil will, de will decrease because the area is decreased. You can also change the magnetic flux if the angle between the loop and the field changes. The loop here, or the number of loops, is rotated from being perpendicular to the field, or parallel to the normal, to parallel to the field, or perpendicular to the normal. So in this case, you have a maximum flux. In this case, as you're rotating it, the flux starts decreasing until here you have a zero flux. We'll cover this in more detail in the AP Physics C course where we deal with these intermediate angles.